Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be going through the major injuries that we've had on Thursday, Friday and Saturday games, those being um, Stewart and Cherry and how you can possibly save your A4 Fantasy season by quickly either mixing around your team to save up cash to be able to go up to a key um, Ruckman in that of Wits, Marshall or English or how you can switch around and just uh, jump from premium to premium as these guys are both going to be out for probably six weeks or so. So before we get into it, remember to like and subscribe and um, more videos will be coming out including I believe I'll do some uh, match reviews for each of the um, games that we had as well as my team changes um, and uh, tipping for the next round. So now let's get into the on screen and defenders here. So um, Stewart's going to be probably now that he got a 14 priced at like 790, 780k. So the best bet I think would be to go to someone. Dale didn't look too good, did he? No, 54. Um, Dacos would be one, but the only thing I'd say with Dacos is that he has the tag potential next week. As he has, let me see, he's got uh, Port, who I think Drew will tag, Richmond won't tag, Brisbane I don't think will tag, St Kilda will tag, Essendon might not tag, I'm not 100% sure, then you've got Adelaide, they probably won't, Sydney definitely will because Ryan Clark will be back by then, so with regards to, and North, uh, Carlton, probably not, North, and then West Coast and Melbourne, so he has like three or so tags in the next eight weeks, so it's really up to you if you want to, I guess, um, pick him or not, and I guess we'll have to wait and see with um, his scores, but I'm not going to be uh, picking him as I have some, I guess, I'm in a position where I'm able to pick uh, rookies to upgrade to rather than um, rookies who scored well rather than rookie uh, changing around premiums due to injuries so far so that's um, so then is there any other player here that you can really get him up to um, not really at the moment no one really performed extremely well if I look at um, points so far so yeah, Dacos, Caleb Daniel did well as well, so maybe you can go up to him, but uh, I don't know whether he'll consistently do that. Ryan Burton did well as well, so if you really wanted to take a risk and go down to Ryan Burton, that would be a risk. Uh, Rich did alright, but then if we look here at the 800k plus... Lloyd did alright, so if you can... Um, he might be a natural go if you can get enough cash from a rookie downgrade to get to Lloyd from Stewart, that would be a good go, because I believe Stewart's going to dip below um, Lloyd. Um, Witherden did not play well. Hearn, that's basically what he's going to put up, and Brayshaw did an average game. So I don't think it would be attainable for people to go from Stewart to Brayshaw, I know a couple people probably will across the like 110k that play AFL Fantasy, but I don't think with there being possibly a 70-75k difference, you would be having to get rid of like Holland or something like that for um, for a 200k guy that plays next week, and then also have, or you'd have to have cash on hand already, so... Um, he really isn't, there isn't many players that I would change Stewart for if I was there. I'd, pr even though Dacos has tags, um, there around him, I think he probably is the safest pick anyway. So that's probably the pick that I'd, I'd go. If you wanted a player of difference, you could go for Caleb Daniel. So that's, um, that. And then, um... If we look here at the Ruckman at 500k, you'll see, where is he? Where is he in the 400k? Um, that's still defenders. So Ruckman here, you'll see 
Sherry got 26, which is just not good enough, to be honest. Um, and then you have anyone who experimented on Laddams didn't really work. Deconan didn't really work. So is there any Ruckman below it? Williams did all right, but, like, it's not a massive, massive score, and he's priced at, like, 54 or whatever, so he's not going to go up terribly much with that. Any 300s that did well? No. 200s, 299s, none of these guys played. So, really, with Sherry, and like I was predicting before I went through this, is either you have... You back him... You back... um. Laddams to do really well against um, the Hawks, but then he has Melbourne, so you don't want to pick him. <clears throat> Poured at the SCG, he should do well, but then Hickey's going to be back by, I believe Hickey will be back by Gather Round, because it was two to three weeks, so that's four weeks from the start of the season, four rounds off, so I think Hickey will get back by round five. So Laddams is going to go to Conan, doesn't really play a dominating role in either the ruck or like he had 24 hit outs and seven and six so he just doesn't look like a fancy friendly ruckman so we go up to the 600k range and you sort of have these guys that are just consistently going to score like 80 odd so you really don't gain much value in these guys and in the 700k region if you could i think um nan Curvis would be a good pick actually he has um, Riley O'Brien in the next week where he probably won't get the same hitouts. He probably loses 5, 10 hitouts. But I do think he has a really good run of games potentially. So I think Riley O'Brien is a pri- is a choice. Um, Darcy Cameron is not a choice, I don't think. And then you go up to the 800k range where you have Grundy, um, Marshall, Wits. And I think you got to go with Wits or Marshall if you can get him to that. But you'd have to probably restructure your team given that you're going to have to... Or you'd lose a mid-pricer down to a rookie if you um, didn't have the um, availability of cash. So basically, for Sherry, because he's... Let's look at him. He's probably going to end up... He's probably going to end up somewhere around that 540k range, 550k range. So 550k, and you're going to need probably somewhere around 250, 300k to get up to a decent Ruckman in um, Marshall. But Wits is probably going to end up around that 850k range. So you'd need 300k to get up to him, but he looks really good this year, he has Essendon where Draper doesn't really get many hit outs, so he should dominate that game then he has um, Geelong which has Stanley and Blickarves which even in the doubling up on wits which should do well, then he has St Kilda where that should be a good matchup then he has Sean Darcy so it's two tough games but then he has North which will be Goldstein now if Sherry isn't back by then Richmond, that'll be an interesting game then Melbourne, tough game. But then he has the Eagles, the Lions, the Bulldogs on the, another tough game. He's got a lot of tough games early, but I think he's just fit and ready for it this year as he's had a full preseason. So that would be my... I think he might even be R1 this year, not going to lie. So that's the... If I go back to the main screen, that is my April Fantasy... Um, I guess, injuries, who to select, and um, how to not ruin your AFL season with injuries. I'll be back with another video on Monday, and there'll be probably two or three videos just because I need to get some content out there as I'm not uploading as much on the weekend. So that'll happen, and uh, we'll get through the content during the week, and you'll see, and we'll have another week of footy, I guess. So I'll see you guys in another recording. Goodbye.